Hello, hello, hello. We're back. This will probably be a shorter episode because honestly, I just want to keep working on it. Yeah, I'm just going to show you new things. Okay, so I have the army here, kind of. Um, let's make it day. So these are actually coral. As you can see in my hand, I'll drop it. That's what they're all made out of. I'll put one down. Turns into that. I'm not a fan of 16 by 16 pixels. If I can get one that's like that looks like this and it's 32 by 32, that would be fantastic. I'm gonna add variants of them so they don't all look the same. Their arms aren't just like like that. But it's it's just for like the atmosphere of the game. So these guys don't move, but the the orcs or zombies actually spawn within this and they kind of come out. So you can imagine seeing like the army like this. I have my render distance low right now because I'm recording. Hopefully when I get my new processor, I'll be able to do this easier. But yeah, so that's the, the army. So there are some new sounds that happen when uh, Aragorn and Theoden come out of the keep. So I guess I'll mimic that right now to zero. Ignoring the fact that there was frame drop there, um, the three sounds are horses galloping, yelling of men, <laughs> and uh, the horn uh, went off. So it's just a last, last ditch effort when they break through your gate that these guys will help you kill the orcs in front of the gate. I added a sword texture data. 1B. Yeah, so it's actually a stick, but it's a it's a orc sword. I'm probably gonna add more for variety, but there it is. Oh, Jesus, didn't mean to do that. Um, I don't know if I showed you last time, but if you stand by the arrows, they give you arrows now. So when you're off time, when you're not fighting between the waves, you can just be here collecting arrows. And they they I pre they go pretty fast, so I don't think there's any issues with the speed it's at right now. Oh, there's random arrow fire. It's random in the way where the arrows spawn, not in the way where when the arrows get fired. And some of them are fire arrows. I think it fires about like 40 arrows. So we go again. We got some arrows coming up here too. Um, see if we can. See right here, like that. I don't know what the hell's wrong with that, but I made it so after 10 seconds they all delete. So a random arrow fire is kind of neat. I might add a sound effect to sound like arrows are whipping past you. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, so I guess the most important thing, you probably see these things on the side over here, orc count, max alive, total orcs, wave. So the way the waves are gonna work, is I'm only allowing a hundred zombies alive at a time, but the wave can be like say 200. Um, so every time a, an orc would die, it spawns a new orc. The wave gets below a hundred, and once the wave is underneath a hundred, it will no longer spawn. Oh, okay, it will no, <laughs> it will no longer spawn new orcs. So I can show you kind of how that works. <gasps> oh, I got the hiccups. That's awesome. So uh, I don't have a start game button yet. So bear with me. So that starts that. So there's a t countdown right here. You can see round starts in 85 seconds. During this time, you could be buying items and such. And at 70 seconds, it's going to start randomly picking. So right here, you can see that it's picking like a random. Each wave will have five different types of works. And uh, it's just picking them at random. And right here, you can see that this is wave one. So these are all the commands that are the first wave works, so they'll, they'll be like the weakest, but they'll be different from each other. And that gets cloned into this little section where when it's spawning them by random and then they get teleported here. I did add sound effects for them, I'll show you those later. But it'll go until this hits zero. So you can see the total orcs is going up 
to 100. And once it hits 100, the first wave is uh, 100. So you'll see that. And then they'll, they'll start. Oh, that's loud. And then they'll all start to teleport into the actual game. So you'll see some lapis gets placed right here. And then the, you see the wave up here. Wave 1, 100. And they're slowly getting teleported up. I don't have the villagers running, so they, they're not going to walk anywhere. But now you can see there's actual orcs walking about. And if I kill one, you'll see on the screen where it says wave 1, 100, it'll go to 99. 99. And it'll go on and on. And then let's just kill all of them. Guard. I kill all of them. And now the we next... And now the one... Huh! And now the next wave starts. And now you can see it's at 125. So again, this is where you'll be buying items and upgrading your stuff. And at 70 seconds, once again, it'll be spawning them into the holding bucket area. And they're all going to start getting teleported. And you can see at the top, wave 2, 125. So now you have to kill 125 of them, and there's only 100 currently in the game, as you can see from Total Orcs. So... If you, here, I'll make it bigger. You see 100 here. So when I kill one, it'll go to 99, but then it'll go to 100 once again. Because the new one spawned, but this went down to 124. I'll kill just one, and you'll see one spawn into this bucket and get teleported. Boom. It happened really quick. I'll do it again. Boom. Boom. Yeah, so that, that'll keep happening. And say let's kill a hundred and uh, twenty. No, I mean just a twenty. Now we're at a hundred one. See the bar went down too. Um, now a bunch are spawning because there's a hundred and one, so it needs a hundred alive at the same time. They're getting spread randomly up up top. Now they're at a hundred, and if I kill one more, just one spawns. I'll do the same thing again. None will spawn because now the the actual wave is less than 100, so there's no need to spawn anymore. So I can keep killing them. So I'm pretty excited on how this is actually working. And the way I'm detecting if they die, they have to drop 100% chance of dropping a rotten flesh, and I just detect that rotten flesh. So you can oh you can see him with a sword here. I don't like how you can't see the handle at all. It looks kind of dumb to me. But whatever. So yeah, let's kill 91 of them. So there's only one left right now. Let's see if we can find them. He's right. This, I've, I've spent so much time trying to look for them inside the... Oh, there he is. Okay, so I'm going to show you the sounds that I gave, gave them. I gave them a ton of different noises they can make. Slugs. I added a bunch of sounds. It's randomized. There's more than like 30, but half of them are silent, so they don't always spam noises because it gets pretty brutal when there's a ton in one spot. I think that's about it. So if I kill that one that's left, it's going to start the next wave. But I've only three total waves set up um basically this track wave one prepare for next round wave two prepare for the next round wave three so that's going to go all the way down there i'm thinking 20 rounds uh we'll see how it goes and yeah that's uh that's where we're at right now so um again if you make textures send me a message i'm interested thanks for watching